so good afternoon students so welcome to this video lecture so today uh, i'll start with the new uh, topic uh, plus new chapter new unit uh, that is uh, fifth unit okay that is planning of residential buildings so in this particular say remaining for unit number fifth and unit number sixth is uh, mainly based on the drawings which we already started long before uh, at the starting of the semester we started with the practicals take i think uh, you know uh, most of the students you uh, know ki humne humne practical chalu kiya tha the first sheet was uh, drawing was uh, layout plan uske baad once the layout plan is finished usme uh, uh, sewage line and water supply line uh, we have to show and uske baad uh, the second sheet was about the developed plan the third was elevation section as a perspective view autocad drawing as a alag alag sheets are practical correct hai? so most of this portion of the unit number 5 and unit number 6 are is are covered in the practical itself theek hai so so whatever i am going to uh, discuss with you people in this particular chapter you already these points are explained in the practicals theek hai uh so without wasting a further time uh, we'll continue with the unit number 5 so uh that is uh, unit number 5 is planning of residential buildings say um, national building code of india that is a uh, special publication 7 1970 this is the uh, book which gives the guidelines related with the so all the uh, building design bylaws all those things okay so in that particular building code now the definition of the building is given as any structure for whatsoever purpose uh, whatsoever materials are used for the construction and every part of the of uh, that particular building are used for habitation human habitation or not or maybe it is for some other uh, kya bol sakte hain uh, used as human habitation or not and it includes uh, the building which includes the foundation plinth wall floor roof plumbing services balcony and part of the building or anything fixed there to or any wall enclosing or intent to enclose so this is called as building bulke diya it is not i'm not talking not talking about the residential building so overall general concept of the building is any structure constructed by any different type of materials whether it is used for uh, habitation or human habitation or any other uh, habitation like animals ke liye bhi ho sakta hai ya company factory anything theek hai which includes floor uh, plinth walls roofs foundation plumbing services balcony or any of these things and is a, or you can call it as enclosed structure it is called as building so according to nbc uh, the overall the you know there are different types of buildings are there so all these buildings are categorized as different groups in a different groups that is group a you can see it is a residential building group b is educational building group c is institutional building group d assembly building group e business building group f merchandise buildings group g industrial buildings group h storage buildings group i hazardous buildings theek hai this is the different uh, types of buildings are categorized based on the occupancies of that particular building so in this particular chapter you know the chapter name that is design of uh planning of residential buildings so we are going to concentrate only on the residential buildings that is group a so remaining education and institution is ke sub definitions uh, differences kya hai wo next unit pe aata hai public buildings mein theek hai so now we will concentrate only on the group a residential buildings so what is residential buildings it is a building in which sleeping accommodation is provided with or without cooking or dining or both the facilities so that means any building where they are provided with the sleeping accommodation with or without cooking facilities or dining facilities okay so where one resides permanently or for considerable time so that means residential buildings are the buildings where someone is going to stay permanently or for some longer time or considerable time examples for residential buildings are bungalow flats cottage hotels even hotels comes under residential buildings because 
we are going to provide with the sleeping accommodation accommodation so the residential buildings are further subdivided into different groups since the residential building comes under group a so sub division is like a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 there are five groups are that sub divisions they had done jaise ki a1 is lodging or rooming houses a2 is one or two family private rooms a3 is dormitories a4 is apartments or flats and a5 is hotels so you can say all these things are residential buildings because on all, all these five different categories there is sleeping accommodation is provided so let's see what is a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 then we'll move on to some of the other fundamentals important topics so first a1 is lodging or rooming houses so that means group of buildings under the same management that means there are group of buildings are there which is managed by the one management and they are provided with separate sleeping accommodation for total of not more than 15 persons okay not more than 15 person ke liye accommodation provide kar rahe and it is for separate then maybe it sometimes it may be for permanent basis de sakte ya rent ke liye without without dining facilities sometimes they may give dining facilities in some lodging or rooming houses they may not give the dining facilities but 100% no cooking facilities so dining and cooking is entirely different so in lodging or rooming there is sleeping accommodation is there dining facilities make they may give or they may not give but cooking facilities are not available so if this is the case it is comes under lodging that is a1 so any building that is any private dwelling occupied by the members of the single family and has total sleeping accommodation for not more than 20 persons so it is another a place or locations or buildings where uh, the members of the single family are occupied that particular building okay if if it is not the same family if it is rented for other members then uh, like it may be not more than 3 persons agar aapne rent ke liye diya so these type of buildings agar hai to then it comes under sub division a2 which is nothing but one or two family private dwellings theek okay, hai group of buildings rehta hai usme aisa uh, they give for the family members individually rented rehte hai next a3 mein dormitory aata hai so you know dormitories hostels any building in which group of sleeping facilities provided hostel mein sleeping facilities provided with or without dining facilities but cooking facilities individually nahi rahega correct hai so schools college ka dormitories hostels comes under this category sub category so then sub division a4 which is nothing but apartments or flats so you know any building or a structure in which living quarters are provided for three or more families living permanently sorry independently so you can no flats mein individual har floor mein four four building individually stay karte hai cooking facilities is given independent cooking facilities is given correct next uh, sub division 5 that is a5 hostels hotels so any building or group of building under single management in which sleeping accommodation is provided obviously a single management maintain karega sub rooms ka और उसमें दे आर गोइंग टू गिव द स्लीपिंग अकोमोडेशन स्लीपिंग अकोमोडेशन फैसिलिटी रहेगा डाइनिंग फैसिलिटीज हो सकता है या नहीं भी हो सकता है मोर देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट्स के लिए जगह रहेगा सो इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द होटल्स सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट सब डिविजन्स ऑफ रेसिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग्स सो इन रेसिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग्स सेलेक्शन ऑफ साइट एंड डिजाइन ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स आर टू इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स So obviously, when it whenever it comes to the design of residential buildings, the selection of site is very much important, and also the how you are going to design that particular building. See, eco-friendly atmosphere with good aspect for all the natural benefits like light, air is should be considered. So when it comes to the residential building where you are going to stay for like comfort, उस अ बहुत important है permanently रहना चाहते हो, 
तो यू नीड टू वाइल डिजाइनिंग वाइल कंस्ट्रक्टिंग यू नीड टू गिव टू मोर इम्पोर्टेंस टू द एस्पेक्ट प्रॉस्पेक्ट दो जो प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ प्लानिंग है उसके ऊपर बहुत ज़्यादा ध्यान देना पड़ता है सो दैट यू कैन यूटिलाइज द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द नेचर लाइक ए लाइट एयर वेंटिलेशन ऑल दो थिंग्स ठीक है तो मेन पॉइंट्स शुड बी कंसिडर्ड बाई प्लानर बिफोर प्लानिंग आर सो बिफोर फाइनलाइजिंग द प्लान सो वॉट एवर द आर्किटेक्ट या सिविल इंजीनियर प्लानर इन प्लानर इज देयर यू नीड टू कंसिडर सो मेनी पॉइंट्स सच एज क्लाइमेट एंड इट्स अफेक्ट सो इन विच लोकेशन यू आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर द हाउस तो वॉट इज द क्लाइमेट एंड वेदर इट इज़ अ वेरी हॉट लोकेशन या कोल्ड लोकेशन है कौन सा मेटेरियल यूज़ करना है इफ इट इज़ हॉट लोकेशन है तो बेडरूम कहाँ पर रखना है all this comes under principles of planning living habits of the owner that means what is the standard of living of the particular owner so uske liye kya kya requirement lagega wo sab finalize karna padta hai second budget and bylaws so obviously before planning before designing you should know the what is the budget of the client plus what is the bylaws of that particular location ki aage kitna jagah chhodna hai ya baaju baaju mein kitna chhodna hai what should be the height of the building so many things comes into picture so you need to consider all these bylaws of that particular location because bylaws may change from state to state so you have to floor area ratio is a both important then materials and method of construction even depending upon the budget so you, depending upon the climate and its effects so you can finalize the materials and also you can go with the method of constructions theek okay? hai so what way you need to construct the house so next topic is type of structure so this topic you already studied in before also so there are three different type of structures are there load bearing structures framed structures and composite structures theek okay? hai see load bearing structures and framed structure uh, load bearing structure is a wall construction whereas framed structure is mainly uh, Uh, what we can call as a column beam uh, slab foundation this is the how the load transfers so you know this basics already so when it comes to the uh, types of structure there is a one table i had shown here in this particular table i am comparing the uh, different types of structure that is load bearing structure frame structure and composite structure by keeping different uh, points or aspects the first one is soil or the foundation uh, strata so for load bearing structure you should have a very good that is uh, bearing capacity of the soil even for the shallow depth theek okay? hai that is from starting only you should get the better soil for framed structure doesn't required even if you have some or we can say uh, spc is less you can go for the framed structure because you may go for uh, pile foundation and all theek okay? hai uh, composite structure you required good sbc for shallow depth at shallow depth theek okay? hai second one is floor space uh, in load bearing structure because of the uh, you are going to construct the wall wall thickness the, there is a reduction in the floor space jo bhi aapka jagah rehte usme wall ka thickness aa jayega सो so ऑबियसली आपको जो कारपेट एरिया फ्लोर स्पेस है वो आपको कम होगा वेर एज इन फ्रेम्ड स्ट्रक्चर द वॉल इज नॉट अ स्ट्रक्चरल मेम्बर दैट मीन्स वॉल के ऊपर कुछ भी लोड नहीं आता है इसलिए द वॉल थिकनेस इज वेरी लेस कंपेयर टू द लोड बेरिंग स्ट्रक्चर देन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वन देर इज फ्लोर एरिया इज मोर बट वेन इट कम्स टू द कॉम्पोजिट इट इज इंटरमीडिएट टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन सॉरी हाइट नंबर ऑफ स्टोर है दैट मीन्स अगर आपने लोड बेरिंग स्ट्रक्चर कंसल्ट कर रहे हैं तो कितना नंबर ऑफ फ्लोर्स पे जा सकते हो दैट इज फोर स्टोरेज मैक्सिमम वेर एज फ्रेम्ड स्ट्रक्चर मल्टी स्टोर है सो यू हैड सी नाउ इट इज बिल्डिंग्स वेयर मोर देन हंड्रेड फ्लोर्स दे आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड दैट इज आर ऑल फ्रेम स्ट्रक्चर्स कॉम्पोजिट इज बिटवीन टू एंड थ्री टाइम ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन लोड बेरिंग स्ट्रक्चर इट टेक्स मोर टाइम वेर एज फ्रेम्ड स्ट्रक्चर it is very fast speedy construction kar sakte because you can use uh, pre stressed members so that pre casted members so uh, simultaneously you can do the work so it is a fast construction 
once again composite is intermediate economy so uh, two story tak economical rahega load bearing but if it increases the third and fourth it may increase frame structure number of loads jyada hote hi economical rahega theek hai flexibility in planning uh, load bearing is less flexible frame structure is obviously flexible hai theek hai resistant to vibration that is earthquake load machinery vibrations ke liye frame structure bahut jaldi uh, susceptible rahega but uh, frame structure is can withstand machinery and earthquake uh, poise, uh, vibrations ke liye but only thing is while designing you need to consider this uh, effects theek hai uh, whereas composite structure it is better than load bearing structure so now we'll come to the arrangement of rooms in the residential buildings you you, you need to take uh, individual rooms and uh, how you need to uh, place that particular room some important uh, criteria you will understand so uh, first we'll consider uh, drawing or living room so it is a main room and uh, it is a living area maximum time udhar rahenge फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली मेम्बर्स आते रहते हैं तो रिलैक्स होने का जगह है वो लिविंग रूम समटाइम्स यूज एज अ कम्बाइंड ड्राॅइंग एंड डाइनिंग रूम भी एज कम्बाइन करके यूज कर सकते हैं एंड एस्पेशली इट हैज़ टू बी सिचुएटेड इन द फ्रंट एंट्रेंस ऑफ द बिल्डिंग दैट इज बाहर से कोई भी लोग आए तो किड्स या फैमिली फ्रेंड्स आए तो फ्रंट मेम्बर हॉल में बैठेंगे ठीक है शुड नॉट प्रोवाइड डायरेक्ट एक्सेस टू द बेडरूम्स एंड टॉयलेट ब्लॉक्स दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम हॉल या बेडरूम से बाहर निकलते ही यू शुड नॉट एंटर इन टू द मेन रूम और टॉयलेट ब्लॉक से बाहर आते ही यू शुड नॉट गेट एंटर इन टू द हॉल्स ड्राॅइंग रूम इट शुड बी स्पेशियस सो दैट यू कैन अकोमोडेट फर्नीचर बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेस इधर ही बैठने वाले हो टी वी देखने वाले हो तो सोफा या चेयर्स जो भी आपके फर्नीचर्स रहता है वो सब अकोमोडेट करने के लिए एनफ स्पेस रहना चाहिए इट शुड बी वेल लाइटेड एंड वेंटिलेटेड रहना चाहिए नेक्स्ट डाइनिंग रूम it has to be adjacent or attached to the kitchen depends then drawing hall dining and kitchen should be side by side theek hai uh, say why it is means drawing hall mein baith ke khana khate rehte ya dining hall mein khate rehte ya tv dekh ke khate rehte so all these three rooms should be side by side you should give the provision for wash basin in the dining rooms and there should be a uh, dining and drawing room connected through connecting door rehna chahiye uh, sometimes you can connect drawing and uh, dining rooms uh, floor area type of furniture or number of person ke upar depend rehta hai ki dining room ke liye kitna jagah chhodna hai it depends upon the clients and obviously it is jahan pe it is where you are going to have food so it should be well lighted and ventilated and there should be some provision should be given to for the cup uh, to place the cupboards so that you can keep the plates crockery and glasses everything ठीक है द नेक्स्ट वन इज किचन इट शुड बी इन द कॉर्नर ऑफ द हाउस एंड देर शुड नॉट बी एनी कनेक्शन विद द टॉयलेट ब्लॉक्स इट हैज़ टू बी केप्ट असाइड देन देर शुड बी प्रोविजन फॉर द कबोर्ड्स स्टोरेज शेल्फ्स वॉशिंग यूटेंसिल्स ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड सीक्वेंस ऑफ द ऑपरेशन इट्स बी टेकन इन अकाउंट सो एक सीरीज किचन में कैसा है काम करते समय एक सीक्वेंस रहता है तो प्लेट्स लेना इधर धोना इट शुड नॉट मिंगल अप कि खाना बनाते बाजू में धोने का जगह ऐसा नहीं रहना चाहिए जो क्लीनिंग का जगह एक कॉर्नर पर रहना चाहिए वो सीक्वेंस को हिसाब से आपको डिजाइन प्लान करके देना है लाइटिंग फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड करना है बोथ इन डे एंड नाइट दैट इज़ बोथ आर्टिफिशियल एंड नेचुरल लाइटिंग सिस्टम आना चाहिए ऐसा प्रोवाइड करना है विंडोज वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड नॉर्थ एंड ईस्ट एस्पेक्ट में ठीक है बिकॉज डायरेक्ट सनलाइट आना चाहिए फ्लोरिंग स्मूथ एंड नॉन ऑब्जर्वेंट रहना चाहिए नेक्स्ट वन इज बेडरूम इट शुड बी एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ इट्स वॉल एज एन एक्सटर्नल वॉल टू मेंटेन गुड नेचुरल वेंटिलेशन सो बेडरूम का एटलीस्ट वन साइड वॉल शुड बी एक्सटर्नल दैट इज एक्सपोज टू द एटमोसफियर रहना चाहिए सो दैट यू कैन गेट गुड नेचुरल वेंटिलेशन एंड लाइट डायरेक्टली इन फ्रंट ऑफ द प्रिवेलिंग डायरेक्शन ऑफ द विंड के डायरेक्शन में रहना चाहिए सो दैट यू विल गेट बेटर वेंटिलेशन एंड इफ इट इज क्लाइंट का रिक्वायरमेंट है तो अटैच्ड बाथरूम एंड वाटर क्लास प्रोवाइड कर सकते हो एंड इट शुड नॉट बी गिवन एनी कनेक्शन विद द किचन 
and obviously you should keep a um, privacy factor uh, taken should be considered in the bedrooms uh, privacy may be already studied uh, by providing the location of the doors all these things then furniture depends upon the clients then there is a guest room located on one side of the front veranda separate toilets the guest room ke liye separate toilet facilities provide kar sakte ho and veranda ke side mein rakh sakte ho that means because the guest ka disturbance nahi rehna chahiye ghar ke andar so you can can aaram se sit in the dining hall it should it should not happen like when you uh, guest room ko jaane se time aapke bedroom se ya kitchen ke andar se aisa nahi hona chahiye the next one is bathroom and water closet so obviously there should be a separate or combined be provide kar sakte ho well ventilated rehna chahiye uh, wall should be external walls rehna chahiye aajkal apartments mein you can see all the ducts ke side pe they will give that the ke uh, washrooms because a uh, pipeline all those things dado or at least smooth waterproof cement coating dena chahiye you need to provide wash basins fixtures electrical installations geyser was a proper uh, 15 amp ka uh, स्विच बोर्ड सब एवरी थिंग प्रोविजन रहना चाहिए द स्टेर केस दैट इज प्रोविजन ऑफ स्टेर इवन फॉर सिंगल स्टोरी बिल्डिंग इज नेसेसरी फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ इंस्पेक्शन क्लीनिंग ऑफ द रूफ ऐसा नहीं कि ग्राउंड फ्लोर का घर है तो स्टेर केस नहीं देना चाहिए ऐसा कुछ नहीं रहना चाहिए समटाइम्स स्टेर केस रूफ कैन बी यूटिलाइज फॉर सो मैनी अदर पर्पजेस वॉशिंग क्लोज या ड्राइंग के लिए या समटाइम्स क्लीनिंग के लिए या सिर्फ समर में ऐसे ऊपर जाके सोते या जस्ट जाके ऊपर जाके वॉक या बैठने के लिए एंजॉय करने के लिए सो यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड द स्टेर केस लोकेशन ऑफ द स्टेर केस ईच फ्लैट इज सपरेटेड फ्रॉम जनरल मोमेंट ऑफ द स्टेर फॉर फैमिलीज इट शुड भी लोकेटेड एट सेंटर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द रूम शुड भी हैव इजी अप्रोच विद इन द घर के अंदर अगर आपको स्टेर केस प्रोवाइड करना है तो एक सेंटर uh, इस पर देना चाहिए सो दैट एवरी वन शुड गेट द ईजी अप्रोच रहना चाहिए ठीक है सो दैट इज अबाउट द planning of the residential buildings okay so tomorrow i will use one more ppt uh, to show different types of buildings whether it is a plan row house uh, apartments aisa alag alag buildings ka thoda points dekhne ke liye dusra ppt use karta hu then in the third lecture we will we'll talk about a little bit related to the drawing okay so i hope to, uh, you understood today's class take chalo Thank you very much.